Hi, my name's Kevin. I run a flock of about 200 breeding ewes. I've been a producer for six years and would say I've got a good flock. But recently, I've been getting a little concerned. Some of my mature ewes are coughing, losing weight, and breathing hard, even though their temperatures are normal and they're still eating. It's most noticeable when I'm moving the flock down the road to a different pasture. These ewes lag way behind. I've treated them for pneumonia, but they don't get better. They just continue to go downhill. I also noticed that at lambing time, a lot of my ewes had hard udders, but not like regular mastitis. In these ewes, the udder is really firm, but the milk looks normal. I don't think their lambs are getting enough milk. After talking to my vet, I realized that these changes could be something called ovine progressive pneumonia, or OPP. It's also called medivisna, which means labored breathing and wasting. That sounds a lot like what I'm seeing. Apparently, OPP is caused by a virus that attacks the lungs and udder, and sometimes also the joints and brain. What's worse is that once an animal is infected, it's infected for life. There's no way of getting rid of it, no treatment, no cure. It's really contagious, too. It's a nasty one. The damage from OPP builds up slowly over time. Sheep are usually infected as lambs, but they often don't develop visible signs until they're three or four years old. So even though my young stock look healthy, they can spread the virus all over the farm. What's worse is they can be in this stage for years, and some infected animals never show signs. My vet told me that most lambs get infected from close contact with an infected ewe. The virus is spread by nose-to-nose -nose contact and through the air. So being in a pen with infected ewes puts healthy animals at high risk of becoming infected. The virus is also shed in the colostrum and milk of infected ewes. So some of my lambs probably inhaled it, while others might have suckled it directly from their dams. When I think back to how my flock could have come into contact with OPP, I think of some ewes I bought several years ago from another producer who was leaving the industry. At the time, they looked healthy. I didn't think about asking about OPP or testing for it myself. I'd never dealt with it before, and my focus was on expanding my flock. Once home, it wasn't long before they were pregnant. I moved them right into my lambing facilities where several other pregnant ewes were housed. It was a full house. At the time, I had no idea my new ewes were infected with OPP. They looked very healthy, and I didn't recognize any issues. But you know, everyone's living in the same environment here, so both my adult sheep and my newborn lambs could have gotten infected quite easily. My vet explained that eradication of OPP is possible if I was willing to stick to testing protocols. Usually, infected flocks have about 20 to 40 percent of the animals infected, but it can be higher. He explained to me that an infected adult ewe produces about 10 percent less milk and raises almost 5 kilograms less lamb to weaning than one that's healthy. So I couldn't afford not to eradicate this disease. We started by finding the infected ewes using a blood test on all sheep six months and older and removing the test positives from the flock to prevent further spread. It's basically a test and remove program. Since newly infected sheep can take a few months to test positive, we test every six months to check for any new positives. Once we get two consecutive negative tests, we'll start testing a portion of the flock once a year just to make sure the flock stays negative. I'm more careful about where I purchase breeding animals now, and I'm working at reducing the risk when introducing new animals into my flock. I source replacements from flocks that are on an OPP program and are test negative. But if I can't find the right animals, I will follow the protocol my vet laid out. Isolate the new sheep at home until they have two negative tests for OPP, 8 to 12 weeks apart. I want my high-risk replacements completely separate from my low-risk flock until I know they're test negative. Until I'm sure that I have eradicated OPP from my flock, I also keep equipment used to handle infected animals separate from equipment used on my healthy animals. And my family and I handled sick animals last, so we can't transfer something over to our healthy ones. This is what I did on my farm. For you, I'd say talk to your vet and work on ways to deal with OPP on your farm. You'll see, stopping OPP in its tracks all starts with reducing the risk of introducing OPP, identifying sick animals, and preventing spread by removing them from your flock. 
Once you understand how it works, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs>